Welcome to USDTL's Fingernail Collection Instructions video. Materials needed. USDTL Collection Supplies. USDTL Custody and Control Form. Metal Nail Clipper. Non-ethanol-based alcohol pads. Gem Scale. Viewing of the specimen at all times by the donor and collector prior to sealing the specimen container is required. Do not mix fingernail and toenail specimens. Do not collect toenails if client is diabetic or suffers from peripheral artery disease. To ensure there is enough specimen to complete the assay, it is recommended that 100 milligrams of specimen is submitted for all tests below 10 panel. For ETG, add-ons, and or tests above 10 panel, 150 milligrams of specimen is recommended. Specimens under the required volume may result in a QNS, quality not sufficient. Please refer to our QNS policy online. A gem scale is highly recommended. Prior to each collection, wipe the clippers with a non-ethanol based alcohol pad. Have the donor wash their hands with soap and water prior to specimen collection. Examine the donor's nails before beginning the collection. Make sure they are free of all cosmetic treatments. All cosmetic treatments must be removed prior to collection. For example, polish, artificial acrylic, gel, or silk overlay. When removing fingernail polish prior to collection, a non-ethanol-based polish remover should be used. Verify the donor's identity with a government-issued photo ID. On the custody and control form, do the following. Once verified, mark the picture ID verified box on the custody and control form. Record the donor's ID number. This may be the social security number, driver's license number, medical record number, employee number, or any other number of your facility's choosing. Record the donor's name. Mark the specimen matrix and location. Mark the appropriate reason for testing. Mark the panel ordered for this collection. Record the collection site facility information if it is different than the account information at the top of the form. Open the collection supplies in the presence of the donor. Have the donor clip their nails as close to the nail bed as comfortable. It is recommended to clip over a new, plain sheet of paper to capture the clippings. Fold each side of the collection foil up to form a tray. Once clipping is complete, pour the nails from the sheet of paper into the foil tray. Once the required amount of specimen is collected, Fold each side of the foil tray inward to secure the nails and place the folded foil into the specimen collection envelope. Write the donor ID number from the custody and control form on the envelope in the donor ID number section. Place the long barcoded specimen seal from the custody and control form across the bottom of the envelope. Make sure the sticker seals the flap of the envelope securely. Have the donor read and initial the first sentence on the envelope and date and initial the barcoded specimen seal where donor initials is indicated. The collector should then read, date, and sign the second sentence of the envelope and record the specimen weight if available. The donor and collector should both confirm that the donor ID number on the envelope matches the donor ID number on the custody and control form, and that the control number from the barcoded sticker on the envelope matches the control number on the custody and control form. Date, sign, and print the collector name in step four of the custody and control form. Have the donor date, print, and sign their name in step five of the custody and control form. In the presence of the donor, Place the top copy of the custody and control form in the outer pocket of the security bag.
place the envelope in the other pocket of the security bag and seal the bag. The additional copies of the custody and control form can be distributed at the discretion of the collecting facility. Place the specimen envelope in an appropriate specimen transport over wrap and contact your courier for pickup. Thank you for watching our collection video. If you have additional questions, please feel free to contact our Client Services Department at 800-235-2367 or email them at clientservices at usdtl.com.